Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Mage in the Arena. And we have 8 wins so far, just one loss, so we're doing pretty good. This might be a 12 win run for once, haven't had that in a long time. It's another mate. Indeed. Alright, so we also, we don't have the coin, so we want to toss that. We have a 2 drop, a 3 drop, looks good. And, well, that doesn't help. But it is a very good minion, so it's fine. We got a 2 drop and a 3 drop. That's all we need for now. And I guess we are ready for turn 6 and 7. Now if we can only get something in between. Oh, never want to see that early on. At least, um... Haunted Creeper is a way better response to Mana Worm than... than pretty much everything else because the thing that's really annoying is when you play a minion against the mana worm and she uses removal to kill it and then suddenly she has a 2-3 and you have nothing can't really do that with haunted creeper which is nice all right oh can't do that oh wow okay this is looking scary this could be very useful later on hmm all right well I wish I had something that was not an Imp Master or Micro Machine. Not really sure what to do right here. Uh, like, I don't think attacking into anything really helps. It's just the, the Imp Master is not very strong on this board. But uh, I think it's the best place still. Let's just go for the face. I don't think attacking into a minion helps any here. Hope I get some real value out of the mind control later, but I have a feeling... Oh no, what is this? Okay, I guess we had 8 wins, so now we're gonna start facing this kind of deck. Ah, uh, Cone of Cold, huh. Well, might wanna do that actually. Uh, the thing is, we still don't get rid of the Flame Wager. Huh. Alright, what else can we do? We could play a Micro Machine plus a Fire Blast. Do you want to do that? Uh, save the Cone of Cold. Maybe we need to use it some other time. The thing is, we don't get rid of this one even with the Cone of Cold, so... We don't get rid of it no matter what. what to do? Happy Feast of Winter Vale. Yeah. Happy Feast of Winter vale. Hmm... Oh man, what to do? This one doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Let's just do this. And, uh... Okay, so this might look a little weird, but the thing is, I want to make sure we can get rid of the Flame Waker next turn. And uh, if if we want to, which I think I probably want to, I don't know. Like, was it the best play? It's just what a mess. What a mess. But um, because mm. the thing is, if I want to get, okay, so she does fire blast here. Only two mana left. Okay. Wow. Thankfully, she had a weak turn. And I really want to get rid of that. Unfortunately, we don't really have a good... Um, we don't have a good free drop to play together with Fire Blast. But, actually, just playing the Spectral Knight here and running these two into that is probably pretty decent. Since now, even if she has like a Fireball or something, she can't use that on the Spectral Knight. So it's limited the amount of spells she can use. Uh, right, and now we can finally get rid of this Flame Breaker, which actually ended up not really doing much damage at all. Good. Let's take that out. And, well, she can take this one, but then we can Fire Blast to finish it off. Yeah, so that's not too bad. And we already killed the Flame Breaker with it, so that's pretty good. Alright. Hmm... Polymorph. Alright, well I guess we run that into that then. Crazed Alchemist. Doesn't help us right now. Might do later. What do we do here? Huh. I mean, 
Storm and Champion just doesn't really do much right now. So maybe it's better to just play some of the other stuff. Hiker Machine doesn't do so well with that, unfortunately, but... Maybe play the Scarab, see what we draw. Not really super excited about our hand here. Blood Knight? Hmm. Well... Could be useful later on. Flying Machine? Definitely no. Raid Leader? You know what, let's take the Blood Knight. And, uh... It might be useful. And then let's play the Demolisher. Kill that. Micro Machine? Ah, it'll be 2-2, not really too exciting. But, uh... If it forces that one to attack that, then at least we can finish it off with a Scarab or something. Hmm, she has a Cone of Cold too. Alright. Well, could be a lot worse. Unfortunately, we can't quite... <laughs> Maybe playing the Alchemist on this one wouldn't be bad. And again, we could also, like, just to... Make sure it survives, and then I'll be still... Yeah. Hmm. I'll be too free. Could also play this one to make sure it survives, but then again, if it did, that just dies to a fireball. But then, if you play this, we can't... What, what do you want to play with it? Nothing, really. I think we just go for the champion here and hope she doesn't have fireball or polymorph. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Come on, no fireball, please. Ah, oh, well, polymorph. That's actually less bad because at least that, you know, she also has to fire blast it if she. Oh, <laughs> it healed up to two. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot that's how it works. And I think she forgot that too. <laughs> but I'm very happy that happened. Alright, let's play the unstable portal here. Let's see what we can. Could be better. Could be worse. Not too much worse, though. <laughs> well, let's uh, just play these. And now... Do I want to play this one? See, that's a good question, right? Because... Uh, like... I think I'm not going to. Especially because we're against the mage. Because then there's also the AoE risk. And of course... I mean, optimally, I would like her to play a Divine Shield minion. And then we steal the shield. But that might not happen. But then the added risk... Of um, of her using AOE it just makes me want to play it even less. I mean, optionally, she plays like Ragnaros or something, and we steal it from mind control. Or maybe a minion that doesn't do eight damage when it spawns. Hmm. Oh, okay. Ah, that's a decent one to mind control. I'll definitely take it. Things are actually looking quite good now. Let's um, let's take that guy. And <laughs> oh man, okay, that's pretty good. Thank you, Spell Slinger. Come on, play a Divine Shield minion. Mm, no, not quite. Falling torch. Mm. Ah, fine. Oh, fireball. This one does not die to flame strike. Let's play this. See what she gets. Okay, that's fine. And then I think we just fire blast that. Fireball that. Go for the face. She's down to 10. Even if she flame strikes, this one survives. She doesn't have any mana really left over then. The right. Oh! Okay. Well, <laughs> that was basically flame strike, right? Because she. Yeah, she basically got the auctioneer back, right? Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so we go for the face. And I think in this case we play the Blood Knight, because she just used AoE, and, well, I just really want to try and have a minion on the board next turn. Okay. Fireball. 
flame cannon. Alright. Alright. You get rid of everything. Sea giant. Huh. How do we do this? I... Hmm... I think... I think we just play the Sea Giant, right? I mean, if I have lost, I can't play that. I could play Crazed Alchemist into Sea Giant, but... Uh, it doesn't seem that useful. Let's just play the Sea Giant. Okay. Hope she doesn't have any more polymorphs. Oh, looks like she has a fireball, maybe? Or maybe she just wanted a spare part and hope it's like a taunt giver. That makes sense, actually. Alright, she does have a fireball. Hmm. So, oh, this one is useful. Very useful. Then. I mean, we could polymorph it to stop it from getting any cards, but uh, what if we do this instead and just do, and, and don't say we hold on to the polymorph, but you make sure she only gets one card from it rather than two. I think that's okay. Hope she doesn't have another AoE. Oh, heal bot. Wow. I thought this was like a, gonna end soon, but... Now we might actually lose this. It's way too close. Um, and what's that secret? Is it mere entity? I guess we will see. I mean, I'm definitely playing this one. Uh, all right. So how do we? Uh, can we really polymorph here? It just seems like... Hmm. I think we do. I think we want to keep the tempo as high as possible. We do that. And then... Do we... What do we do? Do we go for the face? Do we... Kill that. I think we go for the face. Because both of these are really valuable. She can kill one of them. Doing three damage to the face is also really valuable. Considering how low she is. Oh no! No, no, no! I could not have known she had a blast mage. Uh. Okay, well, at least we did three damage to the face. And. A spell slinger? Okay. Let's see what we get. What? Um, um, not really the spell I was looking for. Do we have another fireball in the deck? I think we do, but I'm not sure. Because I mean, if we fire plus the like you know, we are really close to lethal that way. If we played this one, this one we get a 5-6. She can still kill it by that, plus that doesn't really help us that much. But now she can do that, which is actually way worse. Um, I wonder. But then we don't get to Fire Blast. Fire Blast takes down to 8, and if we get the Fireball, then we could potentially... Okay, let's just try this. Just, I'm thinking like fireball, fire blast, and then next turn fire blast win. If he possibly ah, this card, man, not really what I was looking for at all. But then if you played this, and then fire blast face. Maybe I should have fire plus this one, but I'm just thinking. I mean, she's so low. Explosive shot. Ah. All right. Wow. 
this game went from just looking like certain defeat to certain victory to certain defeat. Happy feast of Winter Vale. You win. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not winning this one. All right, at least we're still in the game. Let's uh, play another one and see if we can actually win this time. No matter what, I'm happy with this run. We got up to 8 wins, so... I was going for 7, even though that was probably slightly overshooting it. 8 is probably more about right. So if I can get more than this, I'll be quite pleased. Let's see. Alright. We have the coin. And we have a 2 drop and a 3 drop. And a 4 drop. Well, it's not really a 4 drop. Uh, it's a four mana spell, but I mean we could potentially just keep everything. I mean it's just so strong these cards, except for maybe the demolisher. You know what? Let's just keep all of this. It's very versatile, so I like this hand. All right. I wonder how long we're gonna keep that uh, winter whale emote, considering it's already January. Oh, hmm. This one doesn't do very well against... Um... Hey, you know what, let's get the snow chuck out. That's way better against Noble Sacrifice, for example. And also the Micro Machine, like, we don't really have a good way to protect it. Now, potentially we could protect it with the snow chuck, and that didn't quite happen because of that, but... Um, let's attack first. Okay, so it's not Noble Sacrifice. Good to know. Then... Play this. He cannot kill it. I think we played... But then again, this one could be good to attack the face with. Say he doesn't have a minion here, which would be awesome. Then we could... But then... The Micro Machine would be really good then too, because then that one would keep getting buffed up. And then we could play the Demolisher to kind of protect it into the Fireball. Of course, it's pretty rare at 8 wins that people don't have early plays. Uh. Okay. Um. Hmm. He's gonna kill that, unfortunately. Let's just play the Demolisher. And go for the face. And hope that the Demolisher can survive and, and kill the the lifter one mini butt. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Well, could use that blood knight that we got last game. Jeez. Oh man, what's going on here? <laughs> Alright. Cone of cold. Hmm. That might be exactly what I need here. Then again, we could save it and just play Snow Chucker Fire Blast. That might also be pretty good. Good. Oh. And we don't we don't get anything on the board. We play that snow chugger trades with Yeah, I think actually snow chugger. Oh wait. Oh I forgot about the secret. I mean it's probably noble sacrifice, right? So if we do this then this will be get buffed by three two. So that's five. Five free. Now if we do this, we don't know which one gets buffed. Uh, next turn, we don't want a fireball. We wanna. Well, it might. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, this avenge. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, let's see, if he does that, I mean, that then that will get frozen, so... That's nice. Well, the fact that it gets frozen would be... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Man. Okay. Now, what do we do? We could play this plus Fire Blast, which is actually not that bad. Because then we get like a 3 3 and a 1 1 and we get rid of that. That might actually be the play. And it also fits the, like, uh, you know, we do? use all our mana. What to do? 
Yeah. Let's try that. Well met. See that? Count of coal could be very handy at one point. We just we need to get ahead here. I mean we're obviously behind, so we can just need a little bit of win some mana in the tempo battle. Okay. Looks like he has a fairly slow turn. That is good. So we could Cone of Cold plus Fire Blast here. Or we could just Fire Blast that. But then one, what are we gonna do with that? No, then we can't really... I mean, I guess we could Fireball, but... I'm thinking... We're behind no matter which option we pick. Which one puts us least behind? So he would have a 4-3 four, four that's frozen. Or he would have a 3-2 that's not frozen. Do but doesn't give spell power either. And also this leaves us with the most versatile hand. So I think this is slightly better. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is better. Alright. Come on. You need another slow turn. Or we need you to have that, I suppose. Alright. And then... What do you got there? Flashy. Cool. Alright. Not too bad this one didn't get the taunt. Alright, so... What do we do here? Maybe just play Spectral Knight plus Fire Blast. Actually, yeah, I think I like that. We do this. Yeah, that works. We use all the mana, and it works fairly well against what's on the board. In fact, it works extremely well. None may steal that is less ideal. Hmm. Man, I really wish we had some flame strikes or something. Ah, uh, that's like the deck's one weakness. Getting too low on life here. This one is scary because it just keeps getting buffed up. Now, do we... Cone of Cold. What's the sad thing is... Oh wait, we played this one first. But and then, why did we play this? And then we Cone of Cold. And then we Fire Blast this. So we can finish it off with another Fire Blast next turn. Get this one up to 3 life so we can't kill it with the weapon. Yeah, this could work. Which is a lot better than certain defeat. Man, stupid nerd like knight. Mm. Okay, we gotta fireball that one I think. And we have to Fire Blast that. So, that means six. Let's play Unstable Portal, see what we get. And we could get Baron Geddon or something, then maybe I wouldn't want to save the mana. But uh, that's not what we got. So let's uh, Fireball that, Fire Blast that, and then uh, um, play this, he kills uh, yeah, but we need to not take damage, so that's okay. Getting too light, low on life here. Who knows, he might ignore it. Nah, he's not gonna ignore it. It is win for Well, it saves us for ta from taking a little bit of damage. Buys us time. Sampi Chow. Hmm, well... What if we... 2, 5, 9, 10... Wow, we're so close to dead. But let's Fire Blast that. And I'll just play Sumpy Chow and this one. Then hope to survive. Hope he has like three... One ones. <laughs> Something like that. 
Actually, that might not even be good, because like that we can't really get rid of all so many small minions. Alright, he got us. Happy feast of winter vale. Happy feast of winter vale, <laughs> Eight wins. That's fine. Let's see what we get. Oh, he finished it daily. That's always good. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Ah, that'll do. Could be better. Could be a golden epic or something instead of a golden common. That would be preferred, but you know, at least we get 150 gold. Not exciting. Let's see what we get for our next run here. We have... Warlock, Priest of Rogue. Let me know what you think I should pick. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.